Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we have Stacey Evans, a candidate for the governor of Georgia um, versus Donald Trump. And the reason why I'm doing um, this video is because it was recommended by a proud Georgia number one. Um, so I decided it would be interesting to do. And also, uh, the reason why I'm using the Fox News map is because, well, because <laughs> um, 270 wants to be down right now. Like, if I just go to the page, it's just, it's just stuck on the site, can't be reached. And all the other websites work. So I'm assuming it's just a 270 thing and it's making me really angry. But other than that, we're just going to move on and go to the Fox News map. Um, because it actually kind of looks a little bit better. Just 270 is more of an iconic one. Um, also, Stacey Evans, since she is running for um, governor of Georgia, she is one of the more popular candidates. I decided to do this as if she was elected the governor. Because I wanted to see how it would play out if it was a Georgia governor versus Trump coming from a Republican state versus um, a president who came from a Democratic state in New York. And we're just going to see how it comes out. So... On the Save Trump states, um, number of these states, she is a blue dog candidate, but I'm not going to give her um, that much. I mean, honestly, blue dogs only go so far. If it's someone like Joe Manchin, West Virginia could be a toss-up because he's from that state. But blue dogs necessarily, I don't think they could turn states like West Virginia blue um, unless they are necessarily from around the area. Um, coal workers are growing up the white working class. If they come from a state like, like imagine a blue dog coming from the state of Louisiana, um, not necessarily the best to make a state like West Virginia competitive, but if they come from a state like Virginia or West Virginia, even better. States like West Virginia could become competitive. Same thing from North Dakota with Heidi Heitkamp. If she comes from up there, North Dakota and, and Montana could be tosses. But since she's coming from down the, down the state of Georgia, there are many that many blue dog states down here. So I'm going to fill in states like West Virginia, Indiana, and Missouri. Um... These would be all the safe Trump states, per se, and then we go to the safe um, Evan states. And her name is Stacey Evans, by the way. I already mentioned that, but just so you can get, so you figure out who it is. I think Virginia would be um, a safe state for her coming from the South, especially with the blue dog appeal. Um, although Virginia is not really a blue dog state, she could grasp a little bit of the Republican vote up there, and that's one of the, um, since Virginia is already starting to lean um, more Democratic after we see what happens in these election years, it's looking more easier for a Repub Democratic victory in states like Virginia rather than in states even like Pennsylvania. So, 208 electoral votes for Stacey Evans to 164 for Trump. Sorry I'm sniffing a lot. Um, I'm sick right now, so just disregard that. Sorry about that. But states like Ohio and Iowa, not so much being toss-ups. And my reason behind that is Trump won it by such a considerable margin in 2016, even more than he won in states like Arizona, North Carolina, states that would for states that won for Romney by bigger margins um, than Trump won, sorry, than Obama won in states like Ohio. Um, Obama did really well in a state like Iowa, but then it switched to the Republican side. That was one of the more drastic swings. But honestly, I don't think um, Evans has that much of an appeal to people in Iowa and Ohio. But going down to Ohio. Arizona, I also think Trump would be able to win their 11 electoral votes. However, I think she could win her home state. The home state, her home state of Georgia, um, again, if she was elected governor, she would be the incumbent governor, and it would just help her resonate a lot more with those voters. And I think she could actually turn out appeal um, amongst the white voters voting for her. And um, African American voters would come to her side, coming from a state like Georgia, and come out to vote for her. Same reason why I'm going to give her North Carolina. And I think North Carolina could go to her just because she is that type of candidate. She also is very well known for her abortion stance, her stance on guns. Um, that's pretty much helped her win. And hopefully um, it will, hopefully for her side, it will help her resonate with um, a lot more Republicans than Hillary Clinton could, people like Joe Biden could, because she is, although she is a blue dog, um, she's definitely good for appealing to Republican voters. I mean, the way that she acted when she was in office, and if she does get the governor election, the platform she's running on is not something you'd see in a stereotypical Democrat. Um, a lot of her policies outline a conservative um, on social issues and then going into some economic issues, a little more conservative, but you can definitely see the Democrat in her. But again, she would be a strong candidate, and um, for her sake, she would definitely need to resonate with white voters and African-American voters if she has to win in a state like Georgia, which I think she will. Going over to Colorado and Nevada, two states I think Evans would be the winner there. I mean, if Hillary Clinton won there, um, his Donald Trump's approval rating there is horrible. Um, it's not easy for the Republicans to win there again. Going over to Minnesota, um, Stacey Evans, I think she would win. There are 10 electoral votes. Same thing in Michigan, ultimately giving her the presidency. Going down to Florida, Trump's approval rating is horrible here. I think that... Um, Evans could definitely appeal to the people down in Florida. Um, the older voters definitely 
senior citizens, they th I think they will come out for, to vote for her more than they did for Clinton. Clinton wasn't as inspiring. She wasn't big on the Medicare issue. Um, they didn't speak much about that. It was kind of just, I'm not Trump, vote for me. Again, I think Evans won't make that mistake. Going over to Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, two states, I think the white working class will come out in full force. Um, not necessarily in full force for the Democrat, but I think they'll come out in full force. I think turnout is extremely high in these three states, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And I think the white working class has pretty much, they don't approve of Trump right now. Um, and honestly, I don't see a pathway for Trump to win in the Rust Belt again unless something drastic happens on the Democratic side. So this is the final electoral map. 339 electoral votes for Stacey Evans to 199 for President Trump. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all later today.